Minotaur, or Swiftsure class, was, sadly, not the His Majesty's large Maxim gun design that players of World of Warships will be familiar with. Instead, in real life, it turned out that they were variants of the Crown Colony class, a war-built design that aimed to incorporate new technology and design ideas into a slightly larger ship, the hull being a foot or two wider and drawing an extra foot in draft as compared to the Crown Colonies. Like the Salon subclass, they were designed with only three triple turrets instead of four, with nine ships planned using the very latest in radar and weapons integration electronics, which gave the ships the ability to blind fire using radar guidance and fire control from the start, as opposed to needing this capability to be retrofitted in later on. They would also benefit from a heavier anti-aircraft armament, gaining an extra pair of 4-inch guns in a single twin mount, and as designed, carrying numerous 20mm Orlicans, although these would be rapidly replaced by 40mm Bofors and 40mm Pompoms shortly after the ships began entering service. A pair of triple torpedo launchers were also fitted, although some arguments were made for quad launchers whilst the ships were under construction. The seaplane hangar and launcher was removed from the design, with the hangar extended and modified during the design stage into a two-floor structure with accommodation on the upper floor and a chapel and recreation area on the lower floor. The crane was however retained for other uses in the ship, such as moving the ship's boats and supplies. Due to the much greater need for electrical power, bigger generators were also installed with a total of 350 kilowatts extra capacity worked into the ships. Minotaur and Swiftshore would complete with a new turret design that had full remote power control for the 6-inch guns, whilst Superb was too far along and had to make do with the older, partially powered controlled turret model. The ship's 72,500 shaft horsepower let them hit 31.5 knots, running on four shafts. Such was the pace of technological advancement that each ship differed substantially from its sister ship, in terms of the detail of its systems. The third tranche of ships was supposed to take a new dual-purpose 666-inch turret with automatic tracking, but this was later switched for the automatically loaded twin Mark 26 6-inch turret, thus becoming a separate class, the Tigers. Later, as the 20mm Orlicans were replaced, an anti-aircraft mount unique to the Royal Navy was introduced. The so-called boffins were single 40mm bofors that were mounted on twin 20mm Orlikan-powered pedestals and given full power training and linked to radar target tracking. At the end of the war, only the first three ships of the class were complete, with two more under construction being scrapped on the stocks and the last batch, as mentioned, eventually seeing life as a separate class after being held in reserve for a considerable amount of time in a partially finished state. The three completed vessels, Minotaur, Swiftshore and Superb, would further diversify in service. They already were fitted with different radar types in different locations, and soon they also had different light and medium anti-aircraft suites. Swiftsure would be rebuilt further in a manner similar to Belfast modernization after it encountered a collision in 1953 with a destroyer. Uh, but with this work nearly done, the ship was put in reserve, as arguments over whether or not to give the ship the new automatic 3-inch anti-aircraft guns and or automatic 6-inch guns, thus making it a 4th Tiger class, began to circulate. In the end, cost overruns and problems with the initial implementation of the Tigers led to the entire idea being shelved, along with the idea to convert the ship into a small carrier, and another idea to turn it into a half-gun, half-missile ship by removing the rear turret and fitting the then-new Sea Slug missile system. Of the three ships completed, Minotaur went to the Canadian Navy, while Swiftsure would, before the collision, prove itself as an anti-aircraft and bombardment ship at the end of World War II, at taking part in receiving the surrender of Japan as the flagship of the British cruiser formations in the Pacific. Superb was almost a subclass of her own, somewhat wider and deeper in hull than her sister ships. She was to have been retroactively turned into a Tiger class once Swiftsure's conversion fell through, but this was cut down to a more modest general update to her existing systems before that update was also cancelled. 
Thus, the two ships that were still in Royal Navy service would be broken up in the early 1960s. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have a comment or suggestion for a ship to review, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to comment on the pinned post for dry dock questions.